want to give some people the time to come into the room. Um, let me know if you can't hear me, so I can fix the volume. But I'm so glad to see you all. Um, make sure that you bring your Bibles and a pen and paper or a notepad. So for now on in the future, whenever you come, bring a pen and pad and a Bible. That's what we're going to need. So we're going to give people some time to come into the room. God bless you all. I see some people that are already here. April, God bless you, April. Alicia, bless you, Alicia. Thank you for joining us, joining me, us. Thank you, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Intercessors arise to you. Glory to God. Welcome. Welcome to the hour of uncovering, everyone. I'm just going to give some people some time to get into the room. Give them more time. It's a little glare there, I see. I see there's a glare behind me. Let me see if I can fix that glare. I'll be right back. a little better yeah that's a little better amen amen welcome big sky country good to see you Beth get your bibles ready you know I just want to say that if they ask the question what is one what's one thing that you couldn't live without if you were stranded on a desert island what is the one thing you could not be with and for me it'd be the word. I love the word. Just, just, I could not live without this. If I had nothing and I just had this, I'd have everything. So there's nothing more important to me than the word. Amen. The Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but the earth will live forever. We'll have a new heaven and a new earth, but the earth will live on forever. Amen. Okay, let's get ready to get started here. Um, I'm still working on some intro music, so bear with me here. Uh, we'll get the right one. We'll find the right one. Just a little intro music here. Uh, I am very interested in the Order of Melchizedek. We're going to do a teaching on the Order of Melchizedek coming in October. You can see the power in the Order of Melchizedek and find out who he is. Many people don't know who he is. Um, and we're going to talk about him tonight a little bit. So let's just play this intro music here. That's our intro music and praise the Lord. Welcome to the hour of uncovering. It's great to see you guys. Isn't it an exciting time to be alive and to come together in fellowship and be able to learn from the word of God? Amen. Well, welcome to the hour of uncovering where our scripture, our verse for this show comes out of the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter two. Let me get there so I can read it. Verse 47. And it says, the king answered unto Daniel and said, of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets. Seeing thou could reveal this secret. So we praise the revealer of secrets who is the reason for this show. You know, the word revelation in the Bible is the Greek word akop. Um, apocalypto, where we get the word apocalypse from, but it really means to uncover, uncovering. So this show is about uncovering and un not only uncovering the secret things that are going on in the kingdom of darkness, but 
uncovering and unveiling the glory and the power of God and the truths that are in the word of God that may have been being taught. Amen. Before we get started, I just want to say some um, some thank yous um, to all of you who have um, donated. No matter what the amount is, I am humbled and greatly appreciative. God bless you for all for all, all your giving and thank you for that. And I don't um, take it lightly. It touches my heart and I just thank God for you and for doing that. All of you who have bought my books, I uh, praise God for you for that. Thank you for reading them and remember to read them alongside of you with your Bible alongside of you. Thank you for supporting me and the ministry. You know, when I um, when I started this show, there was some hesitation because I didn't really think it was going to be, you know, um, important or viewed. And but the Lord has done wondrous things through this through this um, through this show. So thank you for all of you, for all your prayers, all your encouraging words, all your decrees, all your uplifting um, words to me. I really appreciate them. God bless you, and I pray for you all. Um, I also want to say um, to those who have been sending prayer requests, once again, I take them before the throne every day. Um, I pray for them specifically for specific answers. So if you have not received your answer to prayer, don't give up. Don't give up hope. I believe the answer is on the way. The on, it was on the way when I prayed it, when we believed and agreed, it, agreed, it, agreed for it to come to pass. So it's coming. Um, there have been some testimonies from some of the prayers already. There have been people who have received negative reports from the doctors. There have been people who have received um, financings, praise God. There have been people who have received protections over their loved ones, um, unexpected favor. So the Lord is working. So praise God for that. Um, and we're going to start um, a new addition to our show this Saturday. So we're going to start having two days a week. So today's show, we're going to be talking about communion and um, the fountain of youth. So pr pr probably pretty sure we're not at the end of this show, but on Saturday, we're going to be taking communion together. So this is a heads up for you. If you join Saturday or if you were able to rewatch the broadcast on the replay, have your articles for communion. And I'm going to lead us in communion um, on this Sabbath Saturday. Um, this teaching is going to help us understand what we're really what communion really, um, what really consists of communion and what it means to take communion. Um, so we're going to talk about that. I hope to show for the show only to be an hour, but it depends on what the Lord wants to do because it's a lot of information. But this Saturday, September 12th, we're going to be taking communion together. It's going to be powerful. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. Whether or not we finish the teaching tonight, we're still going to take communion on Saturday. It's going to be just be a communion service or it's very important in these last days that you're going to find out. But let's go ahead and um, talk to you um, about this message tonight. But first, let's open up with a word of prayer. Amen. Father God, we just come to you tonight and just lift you up and give you glory and honor. You are so gracious and merciful and mighty. We just love you and praise you. There is none like you. We thank you because you are in the beginning, God. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the revealer of secrets. I thank you and ask you, Father, to um, release the Holy Ghost, to have his way tonight. Have your way, Holy Ghost. I ask that I decrease and the Holy Ghost increase. Let me just be a vessel. I ask you, Holy Ghost, to have your way tonight. Do as you please. Let there be healings and miracles. Let there be people that receive the um, salvation of Jesus. Let there be people who receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and prophesying. Let your word go forth and not return unto you void. Let it do what it was sent and accomplished to do. We thank you right now for loosening your angels to protect the airways and technology, to loose your angels, to stand guard and stand by the people who are listening and watching. I ask you to anoint this broadcast with the fire and power of the Holy Spirit. And we serve notice to you, Satan, you're bound, your demons, your devils, your angels, the prince of the power of, air is, air of the air is held at bay by the king of the power of the air. Amen. We give you glory and honor. and Thank you for the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Um, so because I'm still debating on two times. So by the end of the show, we're going to go ahead and get into that. Amen. All right. I'm excited about this truth here. Let's get into it. The title for today's tonight's message is the fountain of youth, adrenochrome or the blood of Jesus. And hold on a second. For many of you who not may not know. 
what adrenochrome is. I'm going to explain it to you now, and we're going to talk about it. Um, I'm going to talk to you about communion and the truth and the power of it. Not just what we traditionally hear, what Paul says in the book of 1 Corinthians, but what does Jesus say about communion? What does he have to say about it? Um, there is an order to it. There is a, um, a proper way to do it. And I told, I've mentioned this before, but God is a God of order. He does things decently and order. That's why um, what's going on in the world today is called disorder. It's chaos. It's disorder. God is a God of order, an arrangement. Amen. But we're going to also break some of these traditions about communion and um, may, maybe what you have been taught or even what um, you have been taught recently and what you have believed. We're going to see what the word says about it and the spirit and the word work together. Amen. We're going to see what the word has to say. So what is it about eating flesh as meat? You know, we many of us who are people who are not vegetarians eat meat and it's basic flesh. But what is it about eating flesh um, as meat? Um, there is a belief in um, many societies, satanic societies, that human flesh and blood will provide um, health and youth. That is a belief. You can Google, you can Google that. Um, and it's what they call a fountain of youth. Um, when I would pool or um, a stream and they would get in or drink the water of the stream and come out and they would be young. You know, it makes you think about the movie Benjamin Button. Um, there was no fountain of youth, but of course he was aging in reverse. A fountain of youth basically is a mythical spring that restores the youth of anyone who drinks or bathes in its waters. Well, where did this belief start about being able to um, partake of something that can make you young, that can literally be a fountain of youth that would cause you not to age. Okay, so let's get our Bibles and let's go to where it first started. And that's in the book of Genesis chapter three. And one thing you, if you, this is your first time tuning in, one thing 